Good morning YouTube, it's me Sharice here again. I already have my foundation done and the foundation I'm wearing is my CoverGirl 3-in-1 All Day Flawless in the color Q835 Mocha. And this is my favorite foundation. And I set this foundation with my L'Oreal True Match Powder in Neutral 8 and 8. And this is my favorite powder of the moment from the drugstore. So today I have a quick kind of face and eye tutorial for you. Um, like I said in my previous video from yesterday, it's Invitational Band Clinic, so I'm going for a more professional, softer, um, more neutral kind of look. So let's go ahead and jump into the face. I'm going to take my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. I just realized all my brushes in my mirror are far away. And I'm going to use this on my cheeks again. And I'm just applying this where you would apply blush. I'm prying it pretty generously. And if you want to take some down the sides of your nose, feel free. But I've just left over. I'm going to use that. If you're going to put some on your forehead, do that too. You can put a little bit on your jaw, you can do that. I'm not adding any more product though. My face makeup is complete. Next, I'm going to go on to the eyes. And I'm going to be using my Ambreezy palette for this. My Anastasia Ambreezy palette. Which is this one. All, the, all their palettes have such beautiful packaging. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the color... Morocco, which is this color right here, and it's like a reddish, orangey, brownish color, and I'm going to put this all in the crease. And it is a matte color. Matte color. And I feel like mattes are more professional than shimmers because they don't draw as much attention because they're not glittery or shimmery. I'm also taking that other praxis today, so please, uh, Keep my scores in your prayers. Do <laughs> you really just want to get this packed in your crease so you can see some color pay off, which you can on camera? It's just a really pretty color. I really love it for the crease. And now, this brush is kind of big and fluffy. I'm going to take a smaller more dense brush like this and I'm going to no I'm not going to use this brush I'm going to use this brush which is like a pointed brush but it's still got some um, fluff to it and I'm going to go into the color deep plum which is this color right here which is a kind of purple brown like a plummy brown color and I'm going to take it just on the point of this because it has a point to it I'm going to apply this right into the crease and on the outer V just a little bit. But you want it to be underneath the Morocco color. I'm 
like so. And don't worry if it doesn't look blended. We are going to fix that later. But right now it's more about getting the right placement. And make sure you get the outer one third of your eye. Like so, that's how it should look. And now you're going to go back to that big fluffy brush and go back into Morocco just a little bit. And blend that over top of this color so they kind of mesh together. And that color is also a matte color, the deep plum. And you're basically putting Morocco right over the top of it. And it should give you a really pretty, nice kind of two-toned eye look. And for the center of the lids, I'm leaving that blank. I'm leaving it my skin color. So next, I'm going back into the Amrezy palette. I'm going to take the color Topaz, which is a shimmery taupe color right here. Okay. Sorry, I just snipple snorted. And I'm going to take that right into the inner corners of my eye with this angled precision brush. Precision brush. Just a little bit. It should be very subtle. You see that right there? For some odd reason on this side you can't see it as much. Okay, from far away you can. And if you want to drag it out a little bit, feel free. But keep it focused on the inner bottom half of your eye. And last thing I'm going to do in my eyes is put on mascara, which I'm going to do off camera. But that is how the eyeshadow looks. The last thing I'm going to show you is one of my favorite fall winter lip colors. After I put everything away neatly. And that color happens to be from Maybelline the Buffs collection, I believe. This packaging. And the color is Untainted Spice. And this is what it looks like. And it is like a brownie, pinky nude. And I love it. I got this color from the Glam Twins and Destiny Godly. Sorry, my nose is running. But I'm matching mascara and then I have clothes on and my hair done. And this is the makeup look. 
Thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube.